What's up, YouTube? We're back with another video. I'm Brandon, and today we're talking about a solution to a problem that I don't know why it exists, but it does, and that is creating a duplicate of a folder within Google Drive. And so I've created a solution here that makes this super easy to do. I'm going to give you access to this, and so I'm going to show you how it works really quickly. We have a list of clients here in a client directory, and we want to duplicate this template for each client. And if we go back to our spreadsheet, we can see that we have not yet created one here for Lex Fridman. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the duplicator option in our menu bar, click on duplicate folders, and that process will run automatically for us. This will take a little bit longer depending upon how large the folder you're duplicating is, but it'll still be quicker than doing this yourself. And we can also list out multiple folders that we'd like to duplicate, and it'll duplicate each of them automatically for us. We can see that the folder was successfully duplicated. We'll go back to our Google Drive. We can see that the new client has been added, and so everything ran successfully. We'll also get a little timestamp that shows us that the confirmation took place on a certain date and time. And I'll spend the rest of this video talking about how to go about copying the spreadsheet and using it for your own purposes. So I hope you're ready to get started, and we'll jump right in. So I've gone ahead and navigated to the shareable link for this folder that I provided for you in the description below. And I've also logged in with a different account. So this is exactly what you're going to see. And we only have view only access right now. So I'm going to go ahead and start by creating a copy of this document so that we have ownership access over it. So I'll go to file, make a copy, and we'll be prompted with a notification here that there is another file associated with this spreadsheet. And if you ever see this, do not just blindly copy the document because there might be something nefarious happening. We can inspect the file here that is included by clicking on the attachment and it'll open up a new tab and we can inspect the script. If you don't know how to code, maybe give this to someone who does know how to code just to sign off on it. But I wrote this myself, so I know nothing nefarious is happening. So I'm going to go ahead and make the copy. And then once the copy is uh, transferred over to us, we need to do a couple things before we can go about copying folders in our directory. So I'm going to jump back out of this spreadsheet because it hasn't fully loaded. And then we'll jump back in. And that's the first thing we need to do. And then the next thing we need to do is once this fully loads, we will see another option pop up here at the top called duplicator. And we'll click on that, and then we will run the duplication process. So this is going to allow us to provide some authorization for permissions that are needed. So we'll say that we want to continue. And then we'll go ahead and select the account that we're logged in with. And then it'll show us the permissions that it's asking for. I'm going to go ahead and allow these. And then now we are ready to go about duplicating folders in Google Drive. So I'm going to get rid of these uh, dummy data the items that have been included as part of the template because we don't have access to those folders in this account. And now I'm going to go to Google Drive and I'm going to copy a folder. So I've set up a test document for us or a test folder for us, and it only has one document inside of it. So it's pretty simple. But what we need to do to copy this folder is get the link. And I'll do that by right clicking on the folder, clicking get link, and then copying the link to our clipboard. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste that link over in the parent folder link column here. And then I'm going to give the new folder a name. And we'll just call this new folder one. And that's all we need in order to duplicate folders. We want to leave the date created column empty because the script is going to use that to determine whether the folder has been copied or not. So always leave this column A here empty. And I'm going to go ahead and run the process now and everything should take place successfully and we should have a new folder in our drive once it's all said and done. So it looks like it was successful and we'll go back to our Google Drive just to make sure that is the case. And it looks like we have our new folder number one here, which is cool. So that's really all you need to know in order to duplicate folders in Google Drive. The other thing that is kind of a nice to have is that you can do this for multiple folders simultaneously. And so I'm gonna copy that same parent folder down a few times and I'm gonna give the other folders, new names. And now for each of these that don't have any date next to them, as far as the date created column is concerned, we can go about creating each of these automatically. So we'll go and run the process again. That'll take a little bit longer this time because it is duplicating more folders. And as I mentioned earlier, it will take longer if you have larger folders that you're duplicating, but you can go about your life and do other things while this is taking place and not have to worry about doing this manually. So you can see that four new folders were created for us. We'll go back to our Google Drive, refresh the page, and we can see that all of our folders are now included. So that's about all you need to know for creating duplicates of folders within Google Drive. I hope you found this video helpful and that this script brings you a ton of value. If it does, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.